doctor, Nefario, a brilliant but eccentric scientist, was in his lab, surrounded by bubbling beakers and flashing lights. He was working on his latest invention, a shrink ray. Just a few more adjustments, he mumbled, tightening a bolt on the ray. Then, my pretties, you will all be miniature. He cackled, imagining a world where he could shrink all his enemies to the size of a bug. Suddenly, a minion, Jerry, stumbled into the lab, holding a banana. Banana, he yelled, pointing at the fruit. Nefario, startled, accidentally pointed the shrink ray at himself and pulled the trigger. A flash of light filled the room, and when it cleared, Nefario was gone. W-H-A, Jerry looked around, confused. Boss, Jerry, realizing what had happened, gasped, mini boss, he exclaimed, picking up the tiny Nefario. Nefario, now no bigger than Jerry's thumb, was furious. Jerry, you clumsy oaf, look what you've done, he screamed, his voice a tiny squeak. Now help me get back to normal, the minions, led by Kevin, gathered around the tiny Nefario. Bellow, mini boss, Kevin said, trying to be helpful. Don't bellow me, you overgrown tick TAC, Nefario shouted. We need to reverse this. The shrink ray, where is it? Kevin pointed to the shrink ray, which was now lying on the floor, still smoking. All right, listen up, Nefario commanded. We need to recalibrate the ray. I need you to, well, you're going to have to do it for me, aren't you? The minions, though eager to help, were not exactly skilled engineers. Stuart tried to turn a knob, but instead he broke it off. Bob tried to fix it with a banana. No, 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 Nefario shrieked. Not like that. Stuart, you need to turn the dial counterclockwise. Bob, put the banana down. It was a slow and frustrating process. Nefario, perched on Kevin's shoulder, directed them. Kevin, press the red button. No, the other red button. Stuart, gently, gently with the wire. Bob, stop licking the screen. After what felt like an eternity, they managed to get the shrink ray powered on. Now, Nefario said, his voice full of trepidation, we need to reverse the polarity. It's the blue switch, Kevin. The one that says in large, Kevin, with a determined look, reached for the blue switch. But just as his hand touched it, Dave, another minion, tripped over a wire, causing the entire machine to spark and sputter. The lights in the lab flickered. Oopsie, Dave mumbled. Dave, Nefario screamed, his tiny body trembling. You don't. Now we've really done it. The lab was plunged into semi-darkness. The shrink ray was dead. Bee, 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 ba. The minion stammered, looking at each other nervously. Don't just stand there, Nefario yelled, trying to be heard over the buzzing of the emergency lights. We need to find the main power conduit. It's in the basement. The minions, armed with flashlights and a lot of courage, mostly bobs, ventured into the creepy basement. It was filled with forgotten inventions, dusty shelves, and cobwebs. Spooky, Stuart whispered, clutching his flashlight. Suddenly, a giant shadow loomed over them. It was a giant, dusty spider. Eek! The minion shrieked, scattering in all directions. Nefario, despite his fear, knew they had to be brave. Minions, listen to me. Spiders are afraid of loud noises. Make some noise, he commanded. The minions, taking his advice, started screaming and banging on pipes, creating a cacophony of sound. The spider, startled, scurried away into the shadows. Now, quickly, Nefario urged. The power conduit is that large, glowing box over there. They rushed to the box, and Kevin, following Nefario's instructions, pulled the lever. With a mighty hum, the lights in the lab flickered back on. Back in the lab, the shrink ray was still not working perfectly. Wires were sparking, and it made a strange whirring sound. It's not good, Nefario muttered. The main capacitor is fried. We need a new one. Kevin held up a shiny, round object. Apple, he asked, offering an apple to Nefario. No, not an apple, you imbecile. A capacitor. It looks like a big battery. The minions, after much confusion, finally understood. They began rummaging through Nefario's junk piles, pulling out various electronic components. 
Too small, Nefaria would say. Too big, not enough volts, Dada. That one. Finally, Bob triumphantly held up a large cylindrical capacitor, glowing with an odd green light. Perfect, Nefario exclaimed. Now, Kevin, carefully connected to the main circuit board. The red wire goes to the weight. Is that a banana tape to it? Kevin, undeterred by Nefario's exasperation, carefully connected the green glowing capacitor. As soon as it was in place, the shrink ray hummed to life, but with an ominous, pulsating green glow. Oh, Stuart whispered. What oh? Nefario demanded. What's happening suddenly? The shrink ray began to vibrate violently, and the green light intensified. It's overloading. Nefario shrieked, clinging to Kevin's hair for dear life. Quickly, disconnect the power. The red lever on the side. The minions, in a flurry of yellow, scrambled to reach the lever. Dave, in his haste, accidentally pulled a different lever, which caused a giant inflatable unicorn to inflate rapidly in the middle of the lab. Not the unicorn, Nefario groaned. Amidst the chaos of the inflating unicorn, the sparking shrink ray, and the minions running in circles, Nefario realized he had to take drastic measures. All right, you blithering bananas, he roared, his tiny voice surprisingly powerful. Stop, just stop. The minions, surprised by his intensity, froze. Now, Nefario said, pointing a tiny finger at the shrink ray, Kevin, you pull the red lever. Stuart, you push the emergency stop button. And Bob, you, you hold the unicorn down. With a newfound focus, the minions executed Nefario's commands. Kevin pulled the red lever, Stuart hit the emergency stop button, and Bob, with surprising strength, wrestled the inflatable unicorn. The shrink ray sputtered, the green glow faded, and the unicorn slowly deflated. Now, Nefario said, taking a deep breath, aim the ray at me, Kevin, and press the enlarge button. Kevin, with a nervous gulp, aim the now stable shrink ray at the tiny Nefario and press the button. A bright white light enveloped Nefario. When it cleared, he was back to his normal, imposing size. Nefario stretched, feeling the familiar sensation of his full height. Ah, much better, he boomed, looking down at the minions. You did it, you little, you did it. He even managed a rare, genuine smile. The minions cheered, happy to have their big boss back. All right, all right, settle down, Nefario said. Now, about that shrink ray, I think I'll keep it for future experiments, he winked. The minions looked at each other, then back at Nefario, a mischievous glint in their eyes. They knew their adventures with Doctor. Nefario were far from over. Nefario, however, had learned a valuable lesson. Never underestimate the chaotic, yet surprisingly effective, power of a minion, and perhaps. Never work on a shrink ray when a minion is carrying a banana. Now, Nefario said, rubbing his hands together. Who wants to help me test my new supersized banana? The minions erupted in joyous shouts of, Banana! and followed their ray-enlarged boss, ready for their next unpredictable adventure.